Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story. Let's keep heading through the weird woods and see what we can find. Let's go over here. Hmm? Ah, looks like an ambush. What? What are you? Stay back! Get away from us! Uh oh. There are too many of them, Alex. Let's run for it. Uh oh. <laughs> Looks like we're surrounded. Thanks for finishing my sentence, Nal. <laughs> Alex, I'm too young and promising to die. Uh... Huh? Who's this? <laughs> Looks like we have a bit of trouble here. Who are you? Where'd you come from? What the heck is going on? Hmm. Perhaps this isn't the best time for an introduction. Do you kids want some help? Or can you handle these critters by yourselves? Huh. Well, you know, I think we're pretty strong, and Alex doesn't back down from a from a fight, so we've got it. Of course you do. I'll just stand here and enjoy the show then. Let's see what you got. Fine, bring it on, monsters! Huh, we are surrounded though. Six goblins, two gorgons. Yikes. That's a. That's quite a. Quite an enemy force we have here. <laughs> well, we know Alex can kill one by himself. Uh, let's try Temptation Song while we're here. And you can hit this one. Okay, there goes one goblin. Temptation Song. Got a few of them. As you can see, the Hypnotize is put to sleep. You're dead. So that works out really well. And that'll buy us some time to get some kills. So we'll have Luna heal Alex. And swing at this one. There goes another goblin. But of course, Temptation Song, as you see, doesn't have a 100% chance to work. So just keep that in mind. have you go like that as you can see enemies also take increased damage when they're asleep so as long as you can get the enemy asleep it's a a good thing to do now as you saw Alex only swung once and you're wondering why well he couldn't get there on the first swing that's why he stopped and then moved again and swung so keep that in mind when you have more than one attack the range does does come into play and it works like you just saw if you can't get there in one you lose an attack but you move again and can still swing I don't think Luna will get to go fast enough. That should kill it. Good! 54 experience and 194 silver and an herb. Alright, see? Not too bad. Alex, there are more of them. We can't fight much longer. How about now, kids? Could I offer you some assistance? I'm so bored, I can't stand it. Hmm... No, we don't need help. I think we're still good. If you assist, kids. But you look a little gimpy. <laughs> I must say, your odds are not improving. That's fine. Again, you'll fight six goblins and two gorgons. Now, at any time, you can ask the man for help. Let's see here. Hmm... 
Again, we'll try the Temptation song as many as we can, and... We're gonna heal Alex with an herb. Again, one goblin goes down. Temptation song? Come on, get a lot of them again. Good. That'll work. That heals Alex up. Luna got poisoned. Okay, let's see here. We'll have Luna cure herself. Excuse me. We'll have Alex kill another goblin. And next turn we'll heal Ramus, I guess. Yeah, especially now that he's poisoned. Hmm. This goblin woke up. Get rid of him. Ramus, and finish off this goblin. So, just... I highly recommend Temptation Song. <laughs> It'll buy you a couple of turns, because you are outmatched. And level is going to play a big part here into how well you can get through this fight. As far back as you can. You too, Ramus. Oh yeah, Alex can't kill you. Last. And as the enemies begin to wake up, it'll be more of a problem. Now this is where you can really start to see the poison take effect and wear your party down. Luna, to yourself. It kills you. We'll have Luna cure herself. Oh, there goes Ramus. He fell down. one goblin and another just one more gorgon to go <laughs> Luna's starting to run a little low on MP one two and throw oh that doesn't quite do it okay there we go. Wait for Ramos up. Another 54 experience and 194 silver. And Alex reaches level 10. For HP to MP to attack, a defense, an agility, a wisdom, one magic endurance. And he learns the explosion stat skill. Luna also reaches level 10, 6 HP, 5 MP, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 agility, 2 wisdom, 2 magic endurance. And she learns the Tranquil Song skill. Oh, Ramos still gets a level, and he gets 3 HP. Now before you do this series of fights, I recommend getting your party to level 10. I didn't quite do that, I wanted to show you the difference. So that's at level 9, and before that you don't stand much of a chance, the enemies just got you really outnumbered. <sighs> Alex, I don't think we can win another fight, let him help us! <laughs> What's that? So what are you kids asking for help? Speak up so I can hear you! Help us sir! No, you know what, I think we're still good, we have it under control. And you'll enter a third fight against, again, six goblins, two gorgons. Now, being level 10 helps a lot. EZ, instead of e, uh, AE, which is all enemies, EZ is enemy zone. Pressure attack, explosion stab. It hits an area. So, you just target an enemy and you can see how many you can get. Looks like only two, which is a little disappointing. I was hoping for more. But we'll kill off. And we'll probably kill. 
We'll hit these two goblins. I thought for sure we could get more than two there. But we'll hit here. We'll have Alex use Explosion Staff. Now, as for Luna, her new skill is AA, which is All Allies. Now, it costs 15 MP, which is much more expensive than Healing Song, which only costs 4. However, it heals All Allies. Very, very handy. And we'll have Ramus head this way. Explosion Staff! Yeah! As you can see, you saw a red number, which means the enemies are weak against it. Which helps a lot later. <laughs> but that's Alex's explosion staff. I, I don't know why it's staff. It you'd think it would make more sense if it was explosion sword. Yes, please, all get in a little group for me. I appreciate that. Now, if enemies are grouped up, you can hit a lot of them at once. And this is why... One reason I was saving MP. Is for tough fights like this. Or we have to fight over and over again. Uh, we'll have Luna... Yeah, heal everybody again. As you can see, it's very powerful, especially if the enemy is weak to it, like the goblins are. That's the first time we've broken double digits already, and we're really just getting started. So that's the power of explosion, of explosion staff. I still want to call it explosion sword. Uh, it's really cool looking with the huge pillar of flame that gets brought up. And I really like Alex's skills. Uh, another 54 experience points. Whew! We did it! <laughs> Who are you, mister? Or should I ask, what are you? What a hatless bunch you are! You're lucky I happened to come along when I did! Didn't you know that these woods were ridiculously dangerous for ordinary travelers? Are you lost? Or out for a picnic? What? An adventure? What? <laughs> Uh, actually, with all due respect, sir, we did get through through the uh, fights pretty well. With the amount of MP we had, Luna could heal all, what, once more? Alex could explosion staff twice? Or how much MP did he have left? Maybe just once more, but I think we'd get through one more. Anyway, what's so funny? <laughs> the four of you are on an adventure? That's the best lie I've heard in some time! <laughs> tell you what, I'll whip up a nice fire and some grub and you can tell me all about it. Don't worry kids, the smoke from the herbs I'm burning will keep the monsters away. You're smarter than you look, mister. I'm impressed. He's also way stronger than he looks, if you didn't think he looked all that buff. If you ask for his help at any point, what will happen is the series of fights will end then. So if you ask for help from the first time, then you only do that one fight. This is great experience though, as you saw, and quite a bit of silver. So try to get through the fights. I recommend level 10, that way you can explosion staff. As you saw, the bare minimum is level 9. Below that, you may last one fight, but probably not much more than that. You'll need Alex to swing twice. You could use uh, Sword Dance to probably get through. And Luna Healing, but as you saw, even Luna's uh, MP was getting low. Before I started using, using the Heal Wall. But Explosion Staff helps a ton. 
And with that, you could get through the fights. <laughs> I think you, I think. But I'm not smart. When you travel as much as I do, you just learn things along the way. Come on, kids, it's chilly. Get closer to the fire. <laughs> I just realized. Haven't even asked your names yet. You call me Locky. I'm Alex. This is my friend, Ramus. Hello. I'm Nal. And I'm Luna. We're traveling from the village of Berg. Hmm. Luna. Something wrong, Locky? Oh, nothing. It's just a name I've not heard in a long time. Your village is the birthplace of Dragon Master Dine, right? Yes! Dragon Master Dine is my hero! Is this our hero? Well, he's my hero. I've dreamt of growing up to be just like him. So, you're gonna be a Dragon Master, huh? I, uh... I'd like to. No dream is out of reach, Alex. No matter how impossible it may seem. And in order to accomplish your dreams, you need plenty of food and rest. So you're saying I can accomplish anything? <laughs> Indeed you can, Nal. Alright, Alex. Let's finish our food and get some sleep. We have to get up early while the monsters are still groggy. <laughs> he has the green eyes. I wonder if... Hmm... What the... Fuck is gone! It was kind of rude for him to leave without saying goodbye. But anyone who laughs at my jokes is a good man. Hope we meet him again. Said we're close to the exit, right? After we get out of here, we head south. To the port of safe? where we sail for Marilla and take our first step onto the shining path of glory. Deep breaths, Ramus. <laughs> After that, you'll get a full heal. So don't worry about having to run to town or anything. Go all out for those battles if you choose to... if you choose to fight them. Now, because of this, uh, I show it off at... Okay, don't save over that one. <laughs> I may tack it on at the end of this video or something. We'll just see. I'll just explain it. If at any time you ask for Lake's help, he'll assist you. Now, he's got a ton of HP. He's like level 50. I believe he has 999 HP. He gets three attacks and he one-shots the monsters. So, it's a guaranteed win. Period. And he'll go first, of course. Being level 50. Uh, showing that he is no slouch and he's really, really awesome. <laughs> but you lose out on all that experience. You have... Yeah, it was a 56 experience, and then 56 again, and 56 again. Uh, 112. 168? My brain's kind of not working right now for math. Anyway, it's a lot of experience. <laughs> for, your, for your party. If you have him fight the first battle, then that's it. The monsters will run away, and there you go. Also, if you ask for help, Luna scolds you right at this point. Right after you wake up, she's like, uh, to the effect, You need more training, Alex. Or, sorry. You need more training, Alex. It basically scolds you for being a wimp and not being able to take out all the monsters. Which is why I wanted to do it. Not just for the EXP, but to show you that Alex is awesome and he can do it. <laughs> like I said, level 10 is the way to go. Explosion Staff helps a ton, as you saw. 
And also, Luna being level 10 has Tranquil Song to heal. To heal everybody at once. Which can help uh, really negate the poison. Uh, Temptation Song is a great way to stall as well. So keep all that in mind and you should be fine. Now let's see here. What? It's locked, Alex! I wonder what's inside. Hmm, I don't know. But it's locked, so we can't do anything about it. You'll find some locked chests. Just keep them in mind. I'll probably forget about this one, but... <laughs> Got herb. I don't like it. As we just do another fight. Just some... Um, just my opinion on something. I don't like it when games put things like that, like luck chest. It used to be a really big thing. Uh, put a luck chest, and then you get the key later. And you can go by, back to previous areas, unlock them, and get really cool stuff. The problem with that is, I always forget where these chests are. <laughs> That one, you know. And so it just becomes a really, a really big problem because I'll be like, oh yeah, okay, lock treasure chest. I'll come back and get it, and I'll never go back and get it because I'll forget. But usually they have really cool things. An example of this is one of my favorite RPGs, Chrono Trigger. At some point, you'll find some locked chests that you can't that you can't get but then you can uh, come back later and open them and you see if you go north there's nothing here just to show you so I, I don't like it when RPGs do that I, it's a really cool cool thing I, I guess they do it to have you revisit old areas which I can understand that but I don't know I just personally have a tough time remembering remembering where treasure chests like that are there's a young stranger about your age staying here and say he claims to be a VIP of the magic guild <laughs> sounds fishy to me why would a VIP come to say welcome to the port of say did you journey from Berg? Oh, I see the fog is lifted from the woods I'm so relieved to hear that. You're welcome to rest here as long as you like. <laughs> Do you smell that? This whole town reeks of fish! I'm in heaven! And no is our little guardian angel. <laughs> Hi. You're all dressed up for adventure, big guy. You take me with you? I uh, don't think so. So, Alex... You had to think about the answer? What was going through your mind? I thought so. Just don't even look at me right now. Oh, don't be accusing Alex. Of that, Luna. Uh, let's do that again. I can't. Sorry, I went through that really quick. I wanted to finish my thought. Uh, Ramus made a joke. White chickens can't fly. And I was like, ha, you know, chickens can't fly with wings. And he was like, yeah, it's almost as ridiculous as a flying cat. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> hey. Let's not stand too close to it, Alex. People might think we're chicken filters. We don't steal chickens. They don't make cool noises like in Epic Battle Fantasy IV, though. <laughs> Sathenburg are sister cities, although Berg is more isolated because of the mountain terrain. Sister cities, huh? Don't relatives give each other food? Say, for example, fish? No, I'm convinced you have a stomach where your brain should be. Eh, maybe so, maybe he just likes to eat a lot. Welcome to the weapon shop of Sath. What can I do for you? So, here we have some upgraded arms and armor. I suggest you buy what you can. And if you fight the battles in the forest, you should have plenty of cash. Longsword length does matter. <laughs> oh, better than a short sword. 
small bow for archers on a budget, which Alex cannot use. Well, he's better off with a sword anyway. Just a little bit of improvement, but every little bit can count. Ramus can also use the small bow. He cannot use the long sword, only Alex can. So you can keep the short sword or have him have a small bow, a little less attack power, but he becomes a ranged unit. It's up to you. I'm going to keep him with the short sword for now. Leather clothes, kinky yet comfy, which give two more defense, but for the guys, at least these two can wear heavier armor, uh, use leather armor. Gives you more defense. Also going to buy a couple of herbs. We'll buy one longsword, a small bow, one set of clothes, and two sets of armor. Okay. Hold on to that. Give Alex the longsword. Give him some leather armor. Give Ramus. Luna gets these two things. Okay. We'll go ahead and equip these real quick. The long sword and leather armor. Short bone leather clothes. Leather armor. Okay, we'll sell the old equipment. Short sword to heavy clothes. There we go. And I do suggest that you sell your old equipment. Just because space is limited. And you can use the money early on. I stay out of here if I were you. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Plus the beer is watered down. That makes me want to go inside even more! He's just trying to help us, Snow. Isn't he? Yeah, I think he is. Well, we need a boat, so... Hi! You want to board the ship to Mariba? Sorry, kids. That's completely out of the question. But that's where we need to go. No, the ship is fine. It's kind of a long and embarrassing story. Talk to the captain in the back room for all the sorry details. <coughs> that's no good. Hoy, mates. I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, bound for Mariba. The sea is tosses so hard that I need me sea chart to navigate it. But I seem to have gambled it away. You gambled away the thing you need to cross this. Uh, uh, scurvy dog. He won't be so lucky next time. I'll have a rematch or his head, I tell ye. What's a sea chart? Some kind of really yummy fish? No, no, it's not. <laughs> no, silly. It's a map of the ocean sailors use to avoid hazards. Hmm. Well, that's important. Ask me why I don't have me own sea chart. Ask the Dark Master. Okay. Do you have the rest of the story? The captain was fooled into losing a sea chart in a card game with an infamous gambler named Brett. The captain is a fine sailor, but the worst poker player in history. The man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with pretty pictures on him. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and rotting cargo. Lovely. Brett? <laughs> He's gloating at the bar. Hmm. Well, I think we need to pay this Brett a visit then. Because we need that sea chart because we need to get across the sea. Mariba. To Mariba. Uh... Go ahead and save real quick. 
and save here. Okay. This has the beer mug on the top. I'm going to assume this is the bar. Hi. My store went bankrupt. My wallet was stolen. I'm the unluckiest man in all of Saith. <gasps> I'm so sorry, sir. He's not talking to you, Luna. He's talking to his beer. Well, Luna, always the kind one. I <clears throat> lost all my money I <clears throat> earned on my last voyage. I uh, probably should be drinking it away. My first new customers in hours and they're underage. I need something to bring in new patrons, anything. Okay, you must be the gambler then. You're just sitting here in the corner with a table. Yeah. Howdy, son. My name's Brett. I reckon I'm the best there is when it comes to gambling. I ain't talking to you till you gamble with me first, understand? Pardon? You want the C chart? Huh. Gamble with me and I reckon we can talk. How about it? Alright, reckon we will. Alright then, let's play for a hundred silver. We'll start with a real easy game, son. I toss a coin, you guess heads or tails. Call it! Heads! Sorry, son, it's tails. Ah! Hmm. Lost a hundred silver. Yes, you lose a hundred silver. How about it, son? Choose heads or tails. Alright. Tails! With all due respect, boy, I reckon you're the worst gambler I ever seen. It's heads. Give me my money. There's another hundred silver. Hmm. Huh. Hey, Alex. Did you look at that coin he's using? I mean, really look. What do you mean, Ramus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he shows us. Brett is switching it after the toss. What? Are you sure we should accuse the best gambler of this town of cheating? <laughs> Come on, Naw. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Well, considering Ramus is all about the cash, and he wants to be, you know, rich and all that, guess he does know a lot about money. Let's do it one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. Hmm. Huh. All right. I'll trust you on this one kids are back come on now I don't want to win no more your allowances just ain't right we want to make things more interesting Brett we want to bet this Ramus is betting the dragon diamond he must be a hundred percent sure of his hunch Ramus you better be sure about what you're doing we didn't come all the way to safe to lose the diamond on a coin flip Holy goddess Althea! I reckon that's the purtiest rock I've ever seen. You got yourself a bet, son. Ha! There, see? So, Remus's plan was to beat up Brett? Sheer genius. Put that coin down, boy. <laughs> Why, Brett? So I don't notice it has two heads? <laughs> oh, a trick coin, huh? Brett! You're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel! I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. Now there's a guy that knows a lot about money. <laughs> a real coin makes a deeper clink. Wow. Well, if we've learned anything, Ramus knows his cash. <laughs> oh dear, I've been caught by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be ruined, you naughty, beastly boy got the dragon diamond and you get your 200 silver back as well by the way I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coins don't you know that you can't con a con so you saying you're a con Ramus hmm you want to be a quote merchant unquote right so you gotta you gotta know all the cons in and out and things like that anyway Game over, Brett. Give us the C chart. I'm afraid I don't have it. Please don't shove me again. I bruise quite easily, and I'm a bleeder. What? You said we had to gamble for it. 
I said you had to gamble. Never I had said, I, but I never said I had the chart. You, you ninny ninny dum dum poopy head. Yeah, you tell him, Nall. Well said, Nall. Traded the sea chart to an old woman in the forest northwest of Sate. She gave me this. Fortune cane. Okay. Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade again for this cane or something else. Why'd you give us the cane, Brett? Well, I was hoping you brats, I uh, mean, you darling children, would keep our little secret. Aha. Uh -huh. A bribe, if you will. Not that anybody took damage, but... So, fortune cane. Items. Good luck to carry it. Okay, well, might as well carry it then. So, now we have to head to the forest to the northwest, I believe it was. To try to get the sea chart back. Of course, it wouldn't, you didn't think it'd be just so easy that we could come here and take a boat to Mariba, right? Of course not. So with that being said, I'm going to end this episode here. So next time, we're going to head to the woods and try to... Well, we're going to try to see if we can get the sea chart back. We'll see how well that goes. Until then, I hope you had a lot of fun with this episode and enjoyed it. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.